What's up, guys? It's Jackal, and we are here to talk more about BoJack Horseman, uh, Season 1, Episode 2. But since the uh, debut of our little uh, BoJack discussions, we were finishing up Mega Man. Today, we are starting a new game, and this is a game that goes by many names. We're playing Final Fantasy Adventure. I don't know why I felt the need to restart that. It was right at the title screen. Anyway, but this game uh, came out for the Game Boy, 1991, Squaresoft, as you can see. And uh, in uh, Europe, this game is called Mystic Quest. In Japan, it is called Saiken Densetsu, which any super duper nerds out there will know that that is the name of the Secret of Mana series. This is functionally what, pe since most people know Secret of Mana, this is, for better or worse, Secret of Mana Zero. Uh, it has a lot more kind of called. I played this game, uh, I talked about in some of my other videos how I used to teach karate. I beat this game when I was still teaching martial arts. So, like, we're looking at, like, six years ago that I played this game. And I beat it, too. Um, it's a, it's a fun little game. I mean, it's not, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, the dialogue, the translation dialogue is, oh, it's ass. But I mean, 1991 Game Boy, English translation, like all the memes that we talk about with, uh, like anime not being very good dubbed, I mean... Anime dubbing is getting better now, but I mean the business is getting big enough in English to where it's getting to be better as a, as a thing. Kind of the same thing with video games. Now English translations of video games are fucking fine, but back in these days, because of how much more you could usually fit with uh, Jap uh, Japanese characters, you know, as far as like content on a given thought bubble, like you could get away with saying a lot more stuff than you could in English. So because of that, we got some, uh, in the old days, we got some choice translations. Super righteous. But, uh, yeah, this game has a lot more, like, kind of callbacks to Final Fantasy. And a little bit of its own thing. And the things that'll be kind of unique to it, as opposed to the things that it borrows from Final Fantasy, are going to be the things that it kind of pushes forward later on. So, new game. I forget what this says. Tree of Mana grows with the energy of will from each and everything of this world. It grows high above the clouds, in the air, on top of Mount Illusia. Legend tells that it gives eternal power to the one who touched it. Dark Lord. <laughs> Dark Lord was trying to find the way to the Tree of Mana to get the mighty power to conquer the world. Yeah, you can see how generic this is. But I mean, 1991. Video games were almost so basic back then there weren't even any fucking, like, tropes to even be tropes of back then. You know, that's how it would be. Alright, uh, I don't think these guys have actual, like, canonical names. Um, one, two, three, four. We got four. Uh, JCKL, that's how we do. All right. Uh, oh, the start button's like hidden right there by the Y and Z right now. And you get to name a girl. Um,. What should I name? What should I name her? See, even these old games, picking a name, the hardest fucking part, because it's not even me. Like, I know who I'm gonna name my character, but what should I name the chick? Um. <coughs> All 
All right, um, I don't have, like, a default. I mean, I guess I kind of do. I tend to name a lot of female characters, like, Valkyrie or something like that. So we'll put Valk in there for Valkyrie. Everyone's going to be like, what the fuck? Why is her name Valk? Well, that's why. All right. Sweet. Oh, yeah, you start off right with the battle. No, fight! Right. Uh. All he does is kind of walk back and forth. Just don't get too close to him, because he will fucking hit you. I think you can lose this fight. Now, with this game, if you stand still, you do swings. If you walk forwards, you do stabby stabs. Jekyll was a fighter of Empire Glaive. So at the bottom, we got our HP, our MP, our gold. Jekyll and friends were forced to fight every day. Just for the entertainment of Dark Lord. Yeah, you're basically like fucking like Colosseum fighters. You are slave. Many fighters have fallen from their wounds, as, as one would expect. Willie! Jackal. Mana is in danger. Now. We must let the Gemma Knights know about it. How the fuck do we even know about this? We're in a... We're in a prison. Gemma? See Bogard at the falls. He is a Gemma Knight. He should know what to do. Gemma? Mana? What are they? It's like he's never even heard of man, even though it's supposed to exist in the... Willie! Willie! Alright, Willie's dead. Willie passed away. Alright, well. That was, uh, great. Now, in this game... Willie, I'll avenge you. Yeah, in this game, you can just, like, talk to things by walking into them. Which is both convenient and a nuisance. Alright. Amanda... I'm so sorry about Willie. We have to get out of here. I want to go home and see my little brother. The entrance for the monsters leads to outside. Take your chance. I speak in broken English. Even when I'm trying to make fun of the broken English, it was actually like... Structurally fine. I sounded like a robot. Alright. Now to do the exact same thing we just did. That bar on the bottom gives you like a special attack when it fills. As you level up, it'll, uh... It'll, uh... <coughs> charge faster. And you'll also get other weapons that'll, uh... Stab. You like getting stabbed? Alright. You'll get other kinds of weapons with which to use. Ah! Alright. Uh, is there anything over here? No. Now, for a Game Boy game, this music's pretty good. Dark Lord and Julius? What's going on? You say the mana tree is above the falls? Yes, sir. The tree is in a shrine up there. How do I get there? Up the falls. Miracles occur sometimes, sir. <laughs> Bro, it's so bad. So bad. How? A girl has a key to it. Good. Work hard on it. Yes, sir. What? Who is it? Oh. Time to skirt. Oh, it's doing this by itself. Skirt away, skirt away, skirt. 
I won't let you leave here alive. Jesus Christ. That is a fucking fall and a half, bro. Ouch. Where am I? Where is this? Alright, and now we got some pretty fucking bopping music. Here we go. Alright, so, anyway, now on to the other meat of this episode. Uh, watching the second episode of uh, Bojack Horseman. And, uh, a lot more of the same. Uh, seems like a lot more of a, uh, still more of character establishing with Bojack. Showing that not only does he have a very <coughs> fragile ego and a self-image problem, he also is... Ooh, those are the falls. The falls that I'm... Find Bogart at the falls. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ow. Damn. Okay. All right. Fuck. I'm gonna die. Oh! Oh! Blocked projectile, baby. Ooh, candy. Like the secret of mana games? Candy is life. Okay, push B to use. All right. But um, not only does Bojack have a problem being real self-absorbed, he also cannot for his own life apologize for fucking anything. Like, there's, this whole episode was, uh, okay, 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 damn, dude, that thing hits hard. The whole thing is him, you know, taking some donuts from a, a SEAL, who is also a Navy SEAL, who, uh, he, uh, I guess, leaves, uh, some, uh, ooh, a level up. Alright, now, the way the levels work in this game is... You pick one of the four, and I think it's like power and wisdom are, quote, opposites, and stamina and will are opposites. So if you pick power, power goes up by two, wisdom goes down by one, stamina and will go down by, or go up by one. So if I pick wisdom, wisdom goes up by two, power minus one, these two plus one. If I pick this... Plus two, minus one, plus one. If I pick this one, minus two, or uh, plus two, minus one, plus one. So, you could just really beef one stat and make yourself obtusely strong. But I'm pretty much just going to go to each one and just keep your character well balanced. Alright. Power first. Alright. But, uh, this, uh, seal left some donuts in the produce section and, like, ran to the bathroom or something and went, I, I don't know if he went to the bathroom or whatever, and, uh, I think that's the, I think that's a village. Is there any more enemies to kill for now? Let's kill some more enemies. I want to see if I can get some more money before I go there and do some, uh, Equipment shopping and other things. Um, but I think the seal went to like the bathroom or some shit. And left these donuts out in the produce section. Help. Help! Oh my god. Oh my god! Alright, well, Jesus Christ. That, that sprite was moving real quick. These, for 1991, these sprites are really well detailed. Hasim's got a serious wound. Oh, please. Take this girl to Wendell and... See Bogart. He will take care of the rest. Oh, I'm looking for Bogart. Imagine that. Hasim. Hasim. Hasim? Hasim? Whatever. Hasim has passed away. Damn, man. I'm 15 minutes into this game and two people have already died. Nice. Oh, no. Don't leave me alone, Hasim. 
I'm looking for that bow guard too. Why don't you come with me? Oh, can I? I can't leave you here alone. I'm Jackal. Call me Valk. Alright. Now you got a partner. Partners can do some shit. Uh, I think if you a push ask, uh, she'll heal you. Yeah. She does like gradual heals on you. Which are pretty righteous. Some guys you'll get is teammates later on will... Uh, okay, okay, ow. Will uh, attack enemies. Both physically, magic... You get, you get a little variety in there. Alright, well, we got a little bit of money, so let's go to this village here. See what we can do. The old man by the waterfall is such a weirdo. <laughs> he used to be a gallant knight, but not anymore. Dark Lord is looking for a girl, I heard. Do you know a girl with the secret of the Tree of Mana? Oh, I bet you I do. But yeah, no, you get a... Uh... Hello, young man. Welcome to Topple. Let me just talk to everyone and then I'll fucking continue what I was saying. Thanks for telling me about Topple as well. Dark Lord is so cruel. I can't stand it anymore. Me neither, bro. Me neither. Tree of Mana is watching us from above the clouds. It's protecting us from evil things. You look like a grand sage. Do you have anything else to say? No? Okay, that's cool. Well... Alright, that should be it for the houses. Now it's just the shops to go into. Sorry, I'm rubbing my eyes. My allergies are acting up again, but... Of course, I'm still sniffling like I always do, but... My eyes are being a little more sensitive today. But... So... Bojack takes the, the muffins... Or, uh, the muffins that the seal wanted. They get into a little fight about dibs about it. And, you know, it, it starts off as some little, you know average smart assy like thing that you would see in you know these animated tv shows where it's just used for a gag and you know he just runs off with the muffins and the seal tells him you know he'll pay for it and he ends up going to a news station about you know and you know obviously it's not known that he's a navy seal until he goes on the interview and he's wearing full uniform <sighs> and uh they basically just kind of trash. Uh, all right. We are going to want a few sets of keys. You have to buy shit like that. And you also get like mattocks, like pickaxes. We'll get one more. I don't know how many items I, how many spaces for items I get. A good amount, it seems. I have her in my party, so I don't really have to worry too much. Yeah, I don't really have to worry too much about that. Alright, kid, I need you to get the fuck out of my way. You know what you can do to NPCs in this game? You can hit them. Get away. Good thing they don't get mad at you, though. Okay, I do have the broadsword and the iron helmet would be nice. Let's go check on Bogard and then go from there. Find our way up those falls. Hopefully by the time I come back, I should have an appropriate amount of money to get that helmet. Um, so yeah, because, uh, you know, it's kind of funny because watching the episode, you almost, you, you kind of agree with, you know, Bojack. Like, if somebody doesn't put their shit somewhere, like, kind of hidden, you just put something up in the open... If you leave, someone else is going to grab it. And that's, you don't, you don't get dibs on shit like that. Like, that's not how that works. Like, that's just life. But also, like, at times, you could stand to be the bigger man. 
And if somebody wants something that fucking badly, sometimes you just gotta kinda step away from your your pride and shit and just fucking give it to somebody. But, you know, with Bojack, it seems like... Fuck yes, level up! It seems like everything is just... Yeah, see? Now everything evens out because I chose Wisdom. Dope. Um... But with Bojack, everything's so, like, constantly performative that it's like... He... It's like he can't let anybody else do like get it because it would be seen as like a win for them. And he can't have that. He can't have somebody else winning what he feels like is winning over him. So, you know, what ended up is something that he could have just let go by and been not a thing. Even if the other person's kind of an asshole, kind of turned him into, you know, kind of ended up giving off a worse impression than it needed to give. All because Bojack wouldn't just fucking chill out. And then they set up like an interview for him to apologize on uh, Mr. Peanut Butter's new TV show. And, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, no! I died. Nope, I didn't even save. Holy fuck. Alright. Well. We're gonna call a mulligan on that. I should have, like... I, did, I completely forgot that there was an inn that I have to go to to save my game. Whoops. God damn it. All right, well, we're not going to talk to anyone or do any of that shit now. We're just going to kind of do the things we need to do and be done with it. But, um, yeah, even when Bojack has a chance to apologize to the Navy SEAL on Mr. Peanut Butter's show, he kind of sort of apologizes, but he seems incapable of apologizing. Like, he still can't let anybody else have the W. Because he starts going into, like, a whole thing about, like, you know, because he's a he's a Navy SEAL, a spiel about the military and how he doesn't support everyone in the military and da-da-da. Like, it just becomes this whole thing where he just can't apologize correctly. And a lot of this stuff for this little plot of the story all has to go around the, the main plot that's looped in from the first episode, which is... Uh, him having to write that book with Diane because when she starts probing him about his past, that's kind of how he st starts distracting himself with this whole business about, um, about the Navy SEAL and the fucking dibs on the muffins. And, you know, it's just a lot of redirection or misdirection, I should say, on his character's part. Like, he just very clearly doesn't want to talk about a lot of the things that happened when he was a kid. And at the very end of the episode, he actually does reveal, you know, that both of his parents were drunks, and his dad was a failed novelist, and his mother was the heiress to um, a rich estate, and basically that his parents hated each other. So, uh, you know, he starts to just barely open up at the end. We'll see how well that translates into future episodes. But, um, stab, 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 stab. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so he starts opening up a little bit, but he still is, it, I feel like it, he's constantly, like, he sent Diane an email before their meeting, and it was just a real pathetic email about him doing drugs and this and that, and, you know, he only does it to fall asleep, and... I'm so alone, so alone, and all this, like, real cringe shit, and even while he's fucking real fucked up on drugs, he's still focused on, hey, make sure you don't put this in my book, 
So, like, you could tell that he has all of these image issues, not just about himself, but with the way that other people see him. And with him caring that much about his image, it just seems real fucked that he ends up putting himself in the limelight in ways that are just not favorable at all. Like, it just doesn't seem to work. Oh, time for the fucking mile high drop. But, like, every time he puts himself, at least in the spotlight that you've seen so far, it's very negative. Even though the news guy, he's like a fucking whale. His name's like Jumbo, Gumbo, something, something weird. He seems to have, like, a vendetta out for him. Which, like, though shitty, you can't, like, play into that, you know, to help anybody who might have, like, something against you. Fuck those guys. Fucking assholes, you're what killed me last time. So, you know, there's a lot of pride that needs to be swallowed that was not being swallowed. And it's go that's going to be a problem, the way this show's looking, because, I mean, it's kind of set in, it's set in a modern world. Like, social media is a thing. The fucking vultures in the, you know pop culture media or a thing. A lot of things that are just not good for someone who is constantly putting himself in the limelight in, like, negative ways. So, I mean, we'll see how it goes from here, but, like, it's still seeing a lot of... Oh. Give me one second. Forgot to set up the uh, Do Not Disturb. Set, might as well set it up at the end of the video. Why not? But, um... But, yeah. It's... I just feel like there's going to be a very dangerous route for this character to take. Oh, here's the girl. Oh, hey, there's three this time. Were there three last? I don't remember. All right. This is this guy fucking dies, da da da. Alright, yeah, take the girl to Wendell, see Bogard, take care of the rest. Hasim! Alright. Come on, Valk, let's blow this joint. But, I like the show so far. It's funny. Um, I like how Todd just kind of seems like he gets himself into, like, here he, you know, the first episode he had a, uh, he had to host a party because of the, uh, of selling on the cartel's turf and ruining, like, some party of theirs. So, like, he has to do that. Like, he gets himself into these weird, like, B-plot things that are kind of funny. This one, it was, um, he started dating some Japanese woman online who's, uh, very clearly trying to, like, scam him out of money and shit. So... His little, his little, uh, little forays in the episodes are pretty fucking funny, I'm not gonna lie. I like them a lot. Hey, 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 hey. You like getting stabbed? Ow! Alright. Sweet. Alright, I already talked to everyone here. Let's rebuy our shit real quick, and then we're gonna save and not forget this time. So that way when I die, because I probably will die, I don't have to worry about that happening again. But I like the show. Hopefully my meandering isn't fucking too awful with it. But... I really, enjo I really enjoy the show so far. It's pretty funny. And there's a layer of realism that I feel is that I've heard about, I'm anticipating, and ready for. Ooh, and I have the perfect amount just to stay the night. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, next time, we're going to come back with more BoJack, more Secret of Mana Zero, and uh, we're going to go from there. So take it easy, everyone. Peace out. Love y'all.